Now, you'll have seen this image. It's the international symbol of the Red Cross. Now, when used in war, the Red Cross indicates that a person, a vehicle, a ship, or a building is not part of the fighting. Instead, they or it are providing medical help. And the Red Cross symbol is to be respected. This is the AHS Australian hospital ship Centaur, one of the best remembered hospital ships of the Second World War. Best remembered because despite its Red Cross markings, on May 14, 1943, this hospital ship was attacked and sunk by a Japanese submarine off the coast of Queensland. On board was Sister Ellen Savage, a lieutenant and a nurse in the Australian Army. She had returned to Australia, having seen service in the Middle East, aboard a hospital ship just like the Centaur, providing medical assistance to wounded personnel. In May 1943, Sister Savage and 331 others sailed out of Sydney Harbour aboard the Centaur, headed for New Guinea to assist and recover those wounded in the fighting to the north of Australia. So that she would not be mistaken as a warship, the Centaur was painted a bright white and at night sailed with all the lights switched on, illuminating the large red crosses on her sides. For two days the hospital ship sailed along the Australian coast, yet Sister Savage and everyone on board had no idea of the threat waiting for them beneath the waves. A Japanese submarine intercepted the Centaur and soon had the ship in its sights. At 10 past four in the morning of May 14, the ship was rocked by two enormous explosions. Woken by the sound and sudden impact, Sister Ellen knew immediately they'd been attacked. Struck by torpedoes, the Centaur was on fire. Giant flames filled the night sky while tons of seawater poured through the ship's torn sides. Sister Ellen later recalled those terrifying moments. Here is Sister Savage, still too ill to leave hospital. I remember to how my life belt in the right direction so that I wouldn't break my neck and just went into the water, and by then the ship was sinking. In three minutes, the ship had disappeared into the ocean, taking with her the lives of 268 people. Ellen jumped into the dark ocean and found herself being dragged under. Now, as the ship sank, it created a powerful whirlpool, and it dragged Sister Ellen deep beneath the water. She found herself flung among the debris that was spiralling around her, and she suffered some terrible injuries. Her ribs were smashed, her nose and palate were broken, her eardrums perforated from the sheer pressure of water. But as it happened, Sister Ellen was a terrific swimmer. She managed to break free of the downward spiral and was suddenly hurled back to the surface in an oil slick. She managed to swim to a makeshift raft made from the Centaur's wheelhouse, a moment of safety. Sister Ellen then made it to a larger raft filled with wounded men, and she was the only nurse to survive. Once on board, Sister Savage did something truly amazing. She continued her role as a nurse, concealing her own injuries to take care of the wounded. She looked after the few rations of food they could find and what little water they had, knowing that the greatest challenge would be to survive in the hope of being found. She kept up morale within the little group, keeping their spirits high, never losing hope. After another gruelling 34 hours, the raft was spotted and rescued by the destroyer USS Mugford. The nightmare was over. In 1944, Ellen was awarded the George Medal for conspicuous service and high courage. She became the second Australian woman to be awarded this medal. Sister Ellen Savage died in 1985, leaving behind the legacy of her extraordinary story of service, survival and courage. <laughs>